doing great and started studying and doing your homework every day. So in today's class, we are going to start with chapter 3. So everybody get ready with your grammar textbooks. Open page number 8 and put your finger below the heading C A P I T A L capital L E T T E R S letters capital letters comma full stops and Q U E S T I O N question M A R K S marks question marks so before we start you all know what capital letters and small letters are correct and then you also know how a full stop and a question mark looks like correct now in this chapter we are going to learn how and where are we going to use them all right so in page number eight there is a discussion between a father and a daughter let's read that put your finger in the circle W H O who is this G I R L girl question mark so this man is asking who is this girl asking so there is a question mark let's see what the girl is saying answering this is S A L I M A Salima she has answered this is Salima full stop next is she in your school question mark again he is asking is she in your school and then the girl answers yes she is in my school full stop so children we use a question mark whenever someone asks a question all right and there is a full stop when it is a statement when someone is saying something it's a full stop and now these both are called sentences and they have to start with a capital letter and we again you know what a capital letter is so a sentence should start with a capital letter and if it is a question it ends with a question mark and if it's a statement an answer to a question it ends with a full stop understood now look at the picture on the screen what do you see there let's read the statement T H E the G I R L girl is playing the P I A N O piano is it a question no it is a statement so here do you see T in the starts with a capital letter and at the end there is a full stop. Now look at this picture. How many cookies did you eat? The lady is asking the girl. How many cookies did you eat? Asking. So what is at the end? A question mark. Now if the girl answers, I ate 5 cookies, will it be a question mark or a full stop? Then it will be a full stop. So do you see here, H in how starts with a capital letter and at the end there is a question mark. Now let's move on to next page, page number 9. Let's read the first question. Read these S-E-N-T-E-N-C-E-S sentences. Underline the questions. 
we have to read all these sentences and wherever the sentence is a question we have to underline all right so let's read the first one this is the nest of mr and mrs crow full stop is it a question no so we will not underline it number 2 where is the nest this asking you something where is the nest ending with a question mark so we will underline number 2 next number 3 it is in a tree it is in a tree it is saying something but not a question so we will not underline it number 4 are there any eggs in the nest question mark so it is a question underline it number 5 yes there are three eggs again a statement with a full stop not a question number 6 why are mr and mrs crow C R Y I N G crying again asking you a question why are mr and mrs crow crying question mark so it is a question underline number 7 a w i c k e t wicked snake lives in a hole in the tree there is an answer a statement here with a full stop so do not underline next the snake has hidden their eggs the snake has hidden their eggs a statement again so not a question number 9 what will poor mr and mrs crow do now question mark so underline number 9 now let's move to section b rewrite these sentences using capital letters full stops and question marks wherever necessary we will read each sentence and wherever required we will put the capital letter a full stop or a question mark according to the sentence all right let's read number 1 why are you late to the class so what is it children is it a statement or a question it is asking you something so it is a question now first thing w in y will be capital are you late to the class question mark at the end okay write it down number 2 she is in the garden near the tall tree so a statement no is it a question no so there will be a full stop at the end and in the beginning tell me s will be capital write it down number 3 she is wearing a long golden chain so s in she will be capital and at the end a full stop or a question mark there is no question in it so we will put a full stop number 4 what do you think santa does asking you something so you will put a question mark at the end and in the beginning w will be capital number 5 r a h m a n rahman likes to play tabla rahman likes to play tabla a statement saying you something so r in rahman will be capital and at the end it will be a 
Correct. Full stop. Now you have the answers on the screen. Check them. Turn to next page. Page number 10. In the similar way, you have five more question sentences given here. You will do it yourself. Alright. The answers I will give you in the PDF. Now, section C. Let's read the question. Put a question mark or a full stop wherever necessary. Alright, so we have to put a question mark or a full stop at the end after reading it. Now, first one. I like ice cream. Full stop or a question mark? It's a full stop. Number two. My F-A-V-O-U-R-I-T-E Favorite S-U-B-J-E-C-T Subject is English. My favorite subject is English. Full stop or a question mark? Full stop. Number three. When is your birthday? Asking you. When is your birthday? Put a question mark. Number four. Where is your house? Question mark. Number five. We eat an apple every day. We eat an apple every day. So put a Full stop. That's right. So children, let's stop here for today. And what did we learn in today's class? The usage of question mark and full stop. So let's read what is written here. Sentences that ask something end in a question mark. And sentences that say something end in a full stop. And make sure whenever you are starting a sentence, you should start with a capital letter. So whenever you write anything, even in your copies, you will start a sentence with a capital letter. Don't forget that. It's important. Alright. Now let's move to page number 11. There is a small poem about a mice. Read this poem and then go to page number 12. You have two exercises here related to the poem. The first one is to mark true or false. True means right and false means wrong. So if you read the poem properly, you will be able to answer these. And I will give you the answers for these questions in the PDF file which is in the description box. And apart from these, you also have a homework. As there is a link in the description box, click on it and you will also have a worksheet in it. So complete the worksheet. Scholars, in our every class, we are learning a good habit. I hope you are practicing them every day. The good habit for today is switch off the light and fans when you're not using them or if you are the last person to leave the room. Don't forget. I'll see you in the next class. Take care. Be safe at home.